Welcome to the HSCL Roadshow, a three-month road trip where we'll be traveling the country in an RV to teach 25 high schools how to build PCs. And when we leave each school, we leave behind six gaming computers so that they can start their own esports team. Huge thanks to the Army National Guard, ASUS, Intel, and Extreme Networks for sponsoring this series. On this trip, we have Nehemiah, who is our campaign manager, Nick, our videographer, and me, Connor, the commissioner of the High School Esports League. Three gamers, a giant camper, and a bunch of computers. Here we just passed the Golden Gate Bridge on the other side of San Francisco. Now um, we're kind of just hanging out. I don't really know what the plan is. We've got three days to make our way up to Seattle, so we're kind of just taking our time, seeing the sights, and uh, when in Rome, right? Hang out, take some pictures. Low key, doesn't even look that hard to escape from. <laughs> They really were trying to hit us, huh? Oh my god! That's just it. He's gonna show us some real speed. Show us some reels. Look at that guy. I've literally never seen one of these in my entire life. Come on, get over. Get over. You want this one? This looks nuts. Yeah, uh, like this is actually crazy. Connor, you see outside the windows? Look outside. It's crazy. Climbing up Mount Shasta. It was a mountain we saw just outside of the window, and we figured we'd come here and stop. Apparently, this is an active volcano here in California, or potentially active. It erupts once every like 750 years, so there is a possibility of lava coming out of here and burning us alive, but probably not. Um, you can drive up a little ways, and then we're going to uh, have to get out and hike as much as we can. It's about an hour and a half from sunset, so we might get some pretty cool views. But uh, yeah, we've kind of got a, it's like a 12 mile drive just to get to like the base of this mountain. So that's what you're seeing now. All right, we made it to Mount Shasta. We're gonna go uh, take a look around. A little, uh, a little cold for a volcano. <laughs> skit for my TikTok, playing Valorant at a volcano, is what the behind the scenes looks like. <laughs> I dug a little hole for myself so I could play right here. I got two kills, so I don't know how many people can say they got kills playing Valorant on a mountain, volcano, I don't know. Probably not many. Anyway, we're gonna pack this up. I actually don't even have my foot on the gas right now. the wild Nehemiah has failed yet again. Bro, it pumped to four cents and it stopped. <laughs> yeah, but one Nehemiah zero. It would say approved and then it would be like begin fueling and then nothing would have come out. So we're screwed. How low are we actually on gas? So and we made it. Oh, okay, we have to right. pump to be right there. Oh, the, 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 okay, oh, which one? Oh, this last one right oh, here. Oh, 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 oh. He's getting a little aggressive. You, you guys, you guys. You guys. No, there is. Look, look, right there. There's a piece. No way. There's a. Washington. We've been staying 
staying at this beautiful little park here for a couple of days, but it's time to uh, make our way out and head to the school that we were intending to come to. But first, I'm gonna show you guys how you actually empty this sewer tank, I think. But I'm still gonna wear gloves because I don't trust myself. Probably a good time to remind you, make sure to subscribe, like the video, you know, share with a friend. We really appreciate it and it goes a long way. Um, but anyway, we're gonna hit the road here pretty soon. All right, we just got here to Franklin Pierce High School, got all of our stuff, and we're gonna head in to get set up. Hi, I'm Jeff Lindsay, uh, the computer science, graphic design, robotics teacher at uh, Franklin Pierce High School. So, um, walk me through how you got involved in gaming. So it all started with just a, just a forwarded email um, from our career counselor person. I think it was from the, the National Guard. Um, said, hey, there's this opportunity. Uh, you can apply for a grant. And I had no clue what eSport, or high school eSports was about. Um, I'm a gamer, so I knew about it in the, just the eSports world, but uh, didn't realize there was actually some stuff going on. And then just applied and was shocked that I won. I think it gives them the opportunity. We're in a very low income area and a lot of people uh, can't afford to do some of the gaming. We've got a lot of people that, uh, they, they love watching streams and stuff like that. They love playing the games together uh, separately. And so just being able to so open up some opportunities, not just for esports in general, but uh, to build our computer science program. Do you think esports e really serves as a, um, a gateway into the- Yeah, I definitely think it's a gateway into it. I mean, once you start building excitement, uh, and you can just start talking about the different opportunities there are. So the way I see it um, is that uh, hopefully we can do some gaming in here. Getting those kids that don't have the opportunity at home, I think, is going to be the biggest thing. Uh, so maybe they can't afford a console. Maybe they can't afford a gaming computer. Um, and so this just gives them the opportunities to actually maybe try it out for the first time. I think a lot of the people that, at our school that are going to start doing it are people that don't play, you know, your traditional football, your basketball. They don't have that the group of people uh, that you would get with a gigantic... Uh, team sport. It works. Good job. Lights. Mission yeah. success. Yes. Bomb the fuse. The nerd is a ninja on that shirt, right? <laughs> All right, we just wrapped up here at Franklin Pierce High School. We had an amazing time. My favorite part was learning from the Army National Guard that aliens do, in fact, exist and coexist with us peacefully. Um, apart from that, all the students really seemed like they had a good time. A couple of them had built computers, otherwise the entire class, this was the first time they built computers. It's really fun to see them engaged. Uh, really fun to see a teacher who's also really engaged with it. He's a newer teacher here, big gamer himself. He was watching Warzone when we walked in. Uh, so to see this kind of community come together at a high school really reminds us why we want this at every high school. It's just such an amazing opportunity to connect kids and grow a community that hasn't existed uh, you know, where they, where they haven't really felt like they've belonged before. Um, so it's, it's really great to see all of that come together and remind us why we're doing this. That's gonna do it for this stop. We have 12 hours of driving ahead of us, but first I think we're gonna go get food. We have arrived to get food. It's called Pico de Gallo Mexican Grill. 